Good morning, afternoon, and evening from wherever you are watching from. Welcome to Belinda's Country Living here in Indiana. It's a beautiful day. It's still cold, but the sun is shining. And um, my sister and I are out visiting my parents' gravesite. Now, I don't know if any of you out there is superstitious or whatever the the word you would call it but I have tried four times to take this video and something always happens so I don't know if mom is talking to me and my sister or what's going on but this is the fourth time I'm trying to do this video but each one I have taken has failed to record and uh, so I'm going to turn you around here and if this doesn't take this time I'm telling you I'm I'm done because something is telling me not to do this video but I'm going to turn you around and yes it's recording so I'm going to turn you around and show you the gravesite. My parents, Kenneth Vernon Spencer and Reva Ethel Spencer. They were married February 19, 1949. And I'll give you a little history. They raised nine children. Mom never drove a vehicle in her life. She was, one of the she was a homemaker. And as my sister just said, she was one of a kind. And most mothers out there are one of a kind, trust me. She was just something. You couldn't ask for a better mother. She was, um, she was the one, she was the glue that held this family together. She didn't have a, a easy life. It was pretty rough. Pretty rough life. My father, God bless his soul, he was an alcoholic. He could be abusive at times, but mama always prayed every single day. She feared the Lord. She was a a Christian woman. Never believed in divorce. She never did believe in divorce. And I always said to mom, mom, why do you put up with it? Yeah. And she always said, nine children. Yes. And she didn't believe in a divorce. And uh, all of us kids were grown and gone. They and but she always prayed and she always said that good lord says pray for your house and they will be saved well she was right because dad turned his life over to the lord he stopped his drinking he was a wonderful person after that Mom, every day she would get up and she would write a letter to the Lord and she would date it. She prayed every day, but that wasn't good enough for her. And she read the Bible seven times through her life. That was my sister. As she was saying, Mom read the Bible from front to back, back to front seven times whenever you went into the house if mom was sitting she was reading the bible and if you wanted to know anything about a scripture a certain verse in the bible all you had to do was ask her and she would take you right to it she knew it i would call her at times and i'd say mom can you tell me where in the Bible where it talks about a certain thing and she would tell you. 
go right to it. Or just tell you. She didn't have to go to it. She would tell you <clears> all <throat> about it. And if you had problems, we always took our problems to mom. And she would say, take it to the Lord in prayer. And he may not answer you. She always would say, Belinda, he may not answer you tonight or tomorrow. And it may be years to come before he answers you. But he's there. And he listens. And he may give you an answer. And you just didn't realize that he gave it to you. So I want to say to all of you out there that has lost a loved one, it is a, a very hard thing, especially around the holidays. But every day is a hard day, especially when you have a mother that was the most precious thing in your life. And she was your friend. That was she. she was your counselor. Yes. Yeah, I, I still to today read her letters to God, and I found a letter in there that I wrote my mom a long time ago, and I couldn't believe I found that letter. And it it just goes goes through your heart when you read them letters that she writes to God. One day I will show you her Bible. She's had several Bibles that people had given her, but she always went back to this one special Bible. It has been taped up with duct tape. She has wrote in the back of the Bible um, all of her children, grandchildren, you name it, it was in that Bible. All of her special scriptures were noted and highlighted and but she always went back to that very special Bible. I'll get the other one. The other special one. And all the letters that she wrote the Lord every single day. I remember one time coming in. And I'd say, Mom, where are you? And knew she couldn't go nowhere because she didn't drive. But she was in the closet. On her knees praying. That's her special place. And that was her special place. It was between her and the Lord. And, and that's she tough. didn't care what went on around her. If all of us kids were being mean or loud, she just tuned us all out. Yep. But she still kneeled on her knees at, at bedtime. And she prayed. But she'd go to that closet closet when she maybe had a bad day or she just you know something quiet she always said take it to the Lord in prayer mom she loved hummingbirds oh, she just loved life herself she was one strong woman I don't, I don't, I don't think I it. could ever have the strength that that woman had. I don't see how she done it. So, and I hope all of you enjoy this. I just wanted to share that with you. <clears throat> through, I think. And um, so my video has made it through after the fourth time. So, again... I want to thank each and every one of you, and if your heart is burdened, as my mama would always say, take it to the Lord in prayer.